I'm catching up with head coach Sherman Corbett. Coming in tonight's game, you were aware of the fact that it was going to be a difficult game, being that A&M, the Aggies, are ranked number nine in the nation. What does it feel like coming away with a win against your alma mater? Well, uh, it was big for our team. Uh, you know, coming in uh, and playing them at home uh, uh, during finals week, we knew, uh, you know, uh, we're kind of disjointed a little bit. Uh, you know, we, we didn't have everybody out here when we started batting practice, so you just don't know how you're going to play. But I knew our guys would be up for the game once we played, and, and, and we came out and played really well. You know, Michael Kraft threw an outstanding job on the mound uh, to, to keep us in a ball game, you know, and, and uh, we didn't have enough offense, uh, especially uh, late in the game where, uh, you know, they brought in the, one of the top pitchers in the nation uh, in Stilson, and, and we were able to get a sacrifice spun down and get a big base hit to get an RBI and then come back the next inning and, and uh, get, get the, the winning run it was really big, and I'm really proud of our team. Just on the fact that this is your alma mater, is it a special feeling for you coming away with a win? Well, it always is. You know, uh, a couple uh, of uh, people that were there when I was there or in their administration that were here and, and uh, just kind of catching up on what's going on there. It's obviously big to, to, to play your alma mater and, and uh, you know, coach against them and, and, and especially win. Uh, you know, uh, every, every uh, win's big, but uh, one that you can get against your alma mater, especially one that is playing as well as they are, uh, is, uh, is very satisfying. The runners just came away with their fifth consecutive win in the Southland Conference. Mm -hmm. What's next? Well, uh, we've got a huge challenge this weekend. Uh, you know, we've we got Texas State, uh, obviously another rivalry uh, this weekend, and, and, and they're playing well. They're tied for the lead in, in the Southland, and so uh, we've got a huge challenge ahead of us. They've got a really good ball club, but I'm looking forward to a really good series this weekend. The runners are tied for fourth in the conference. How is the team going to prepare for this weekend? Well, I think we're just going to prepare, prepare like we've pre prepared for, for every series, you know, and just uh, get our focus upon on playing the next game and playing as well as we can. And, uh, you know, we've got a couple days of practice here uh, to, to get prepared for them. And so, uh, you know, our, our total focus is going to be on, on Texas State and to go out there and play well and do the things, the fundamentals that it's going to take to win a baseball game. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I'm here with number 29, Matthew James. First and foremost, a win against A&M. How does that feel in extra innings? Uh, it's a big time opponent. a and a good school, good competition. Uh, feels good. Um, anytime you win an extra innings on a walk-off, it's incredible. It's a great feeling. I'm happy for our team. Now, back to the last inning, you hit the game-winning run. Well, the game-winning hit that got Riley Good in for the run. What was going through your mind? Um, in my at-bat, I was just trying to get a good pitch to hit, uh, something I could drive the other way. And he actually got me on a changeup, and I hit off the end of the bat, but I stayed back enough to where I could get it up the middle, and Riley did the rest for us. This weekend, you're up against the I-35 rivalry against Texas State. What's going to happen? Uh, well, it's good that we came out tonight and built some momentum. Uh, they're in first place, so it's going to be a tough challenge for us, but I think we have the right things on our side to go get them. UTSA beats A&M in extra innings 3-2. to two. For the Roadrunner Sports Network, I'm Kennedy Hardman.